Hello and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host Willow of course. Warm welcome to my current subscribers and a warm welcome to anyone new to my channel. Come join the family if you want. We've got some pretty cool people here. So do you guys like the new setup? Yeah? I recently moved and I'm in the forest now so I'm excited to join this new journey, this new leg of journey I'm going on. But today I'm hopping on here to do a quick tarot reading for the collective and I also have something on my heart as well. If anybody is going through an abusive relationship right now or leaving a toxic living situation, perhaps you just broke up with someone, perhaps you just moved out of your guardian's home or maybe with some roommates or what have you and you're feeling it's, it's strange, okay? So let me talk about the science behind when somebody gets into the cycle. And I learned about the cycle of physical and emotional abuse when I was in college, as well as something I did in my private time. I don't want to go too deep into it, but I learned the cycle. So I learned the cycle of abuse. So the abuse happens. The abuse happens from this person to the next. They hurt the victim physically or emotionally, and then they withdraw. And then they start with the gift giving, so they'll give them a gift. And then they go into the honeymoon phase where everything's okay for a little bit, and then they'll go into a phase where it's the eggshell walking. You kind of sense something bad's gonna happen, but you don't know when, so it kind of adds tension, and then it repeats, right? So it's abuse, uh, separation, gift giving, persuasion, manipulation, honeymoon phase, everything's okay, and then tension and over and over. So when we leave these situations of abuse, of manipulation, of toxicity, it's very, very tempting to go back. And you, you have to realize that the perpetrator or this person who did this to you is going to use some type of manipulation or persuasion and you can even feel some kind of sense of Stockholm syndrome even though you were upset while it happened and you wanted so badly to be free when you suddenly are free your mind and body kind of have withdrawals almost like a drug from the adrenaline rush of the intense situation and you start to withdraw from it and it's confusing right so I, I wish that more people knew the cycle of abuse and what happens with the perpetrator, with the victim, the mentality, and how it's not as simple as just leaving and how there's a lot of, it's a little bug, <laughs> a lot of healing to be done. And my heart really goes out to anyone that suffered from physical, emotional, or verbal abuse. I have been there. I, I went through some physical abuse in a lot of situations as well as verbal. And uh, I'm here for you. But at this time, I feel that Spear is encouraging you to stay strong, that there's something better. And it's completely normal to feel like you want to go back, even though you don't like it, even though you don't like being treated poorly, even though you're so happy being free, there's a sense of, well, what now? I, I don't feel comfortable. I'm scared. I'm in the unknown. I have my freedom. I feel good. There isn't anyone around me hurting my energy, but I, I feel so strange being in the unknown and I'm here to tell you it's okay. Like just hang on a little bit longer and in the unknown, we're, we're going to see beautiful things and it's perfectly normal and okay to miss being in that situation, even though you don't you know what I'm saying? Like it's a bittersweet thing and don't let anyone shame you or guilt you for that because I understand completely. Maybe not 100% because I don't know your situation, but I, I do feel when I left an abusive situation, even though I left it and I was happy, I, I did attempt to go back a few times and I felt confused. Why do I want to go back? I'm happy. I've been wanting this for a while. So anyway, that's a little message I had out for y'all. So I'm gonna do something different, different and strange. Uh, I've been really looking into Reiki healing. I am a light worker and a star seed and I wanna give you guys some healing energy. So it's gonna seem strange, it's gonna seem weird, but my guides told me, hey, and I see this crow flying above as I do this video. You're past this point. You're past the point of being weird. You're past the point of being strange, just embrace it. So I wanna do some Reiki healing. 
So for my highest and greatest good, for their highest and greatest good, please allow me to send healing energy for anybody that is going through an intense situation in their life right now. So mode it be. I'm gonna hold on to this self-love potion I have right here. Okay. So I'm going to send a ball of energy to you guys right now. In this ball of energy, I'm envisioning it being green. Envision a lot of healing energy. Tapping into Archangel Michael. Tapping into your guides and galactic beings. Tapping into Gaia, Mother Earth and sending you. Sending you healing energy from your heart space to my heart space. And taking away the pain, taking away the burdens, taking away any anxiety, any guilt, and taking it out of your body, any trauma, any energy that has been withdrawn. And sending my own energy to you right now from my heart to yours. Sending energy from the earth, sending the energy from your galactic beings, from your star seeds, I'm using the triangle there's a dragonfly right next to me right now using the triangle which is the divine feminine towards you it's okay to embrace your divine feminine to embrace your masculine and to be still right now at this moment to embrace the elements to embrace being in control to create your own reality that you are the magician that you are the ultimate ultimate alchemist and that everything's gonna be okay. And you're safe here and you're protected here. I'm sending you this energy from my heart to yours. And it's okay to speak your truth and you are heard and you are seen. Okay, so I'm gonna pull a couple cards for you guys. I feel a little bit better now. So I hope that this helped you. This is my first Reiki session. It's my first energy healing session. I felt it's the perfect time because it's a full moon. Feeling the effects of my feminine side coming out today. So for you guys, they want you to know. Hmm, okay. <laughs> this is cool. We have the Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords in Reverse, Judgment. I'm getting this as you could have been done wrong. This person who was your perpetrator or the toxic situation you were in, it involved a fire sign. Strong Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Somebody who did this to you was a fire sign. I'm getting that you spent a lot of sleepless nights over them, a lot of anxiety, maybe panic attacks, attacks, PTSD. This person could have made fun of how you spoke, something like that. And it's in reverse. So I'm sensing that these sleepless nights are over. Or they will be after the full moon on Saturday. And slowly but surely, you're gonna go back to how you used to be. And actually, you're gonna go back into your future self. You're gonna be better and stronger and you're going to have more empathy for other people that have been in this situation and more understanding kindness and compassion what i do see for this person they could have also had air in their chart but more importantly i do see that your guides and animals your galactic beings are saying they are going to receive their karma i'm getting uh, a biblical verse even though I'm not religious and I do not agree with it at all for the sake of the video for the metaphor God collects the angels collect every tear that you have and they put it in a bottle and what I get from that is that even when nobody's around and somebody is doing wrong when somebody is being hateful or sadistic or just reacting in anger and hurt and pain and, and creating more your angels and your guides in your universe they want you to know that they were always there even when you felt it even when you didn't feel it 
they were there and they took into account every time this fire or air sign hurt you. I saw 1001 on the sign and they took into every time they did this to other people as well. And their karma is coming for them and their karma is going to be 10 times as bad because I'm getting from this reading that this person does not learn. This person has a big ego. This person feels they cannot be caught. They cannot be stopped and in a very negative way and in a, in a way whenever somebody does one thing that is painful and they don't get caught so they increase and they kind of like somebody who's stealing and they start with a lollipop and they don't get caught so then they go two lollipops they don't get caught oh well let me just steal a book okay let me just steal a dress let me just steal this expensive they get getting uh the stakes get higher and this person has been progressively getting worse towards others and themselves your guides are saying their karma is coming in for them and it's going to be delivered very swiftly. The Knight of Swords, this is one of the quickest, other than the fire signs, delivery of message. This person could receive a message that is going to kind of crumble their world. They could receive some papers. There could be something to do with the justice system. If they were using finances against you, finances will be used against them. If they were making fun of you or bullying you they will be made fun of they will be bullied but 10 times worse because your guides saw how you reacted and you carried yourself very well and you were very strong in yourself and you put your face best face forward and you did not stoop to their level although you may have said some things and you stood up for yourself you did not go this dirty you didn't do them as dirty as they did you. And I'm sensing that your guides are proud of you. And because of that, they're gonna receive much more. So it's taken care of. Please don't worry. Please don't try to take it into your own hands. We, you have free will to do as you wish, but I am sensing that they, they're going to be feeling this. And the worst thing that can happen to them is losing you because it seems like you're a really beautiful, wonderful purpose. And you, person, but I said purpose. So maybe you're finding your life purpose, 12-12. Again, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm getting for this, for the collective, for anyone that feel resonates with the situation, you're gonna have time to rest. I don't know if you're about to go on vacation, if you're finding safety in a friend's home, in a family member's home, somewhere, you might be getting a hotel room, something, you're gonna be able to finally rest. You're gonna be finally able to let go of that PTSD. Like, oh, is somebody gonna come in? When's the other shoe gonna drop? When am I, my safety gonna be jeopardized? Like feeling very hyper vigilant. That's leaving your life. Your guides are blessing you with that leaving and they're giving you a lot of rest. It's time to rest. They're saying it's okay for you to rest. You're safe here. And they also want to say that you have a lot of money coming your way. Oh, we all like some money. <laughs> so you guys have a lot of abundance. You guys are going to be presented with a lump of sun, sunny. You might like to watch, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Also, good luck, Charlie. Also, a series of unfortunate events. But they're saying that you're gonna be gifted a large lump sum of money, a loan, an inheritance, something somewhere is coming towards you. It could even be a stimulus check, something from the government. And they are saying this is karma, good karma towards you. Rest, peace, as well as abundance. You could also have be presented with an opportunity. And I'm getting from this, uh, you could go apple picking. I'm hearing, what is it called? Johnny Seed. Johnny plants the apple seeds. Da, 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 da. I don't know that movie. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying if it resonates for you. But yes, they're giving you a golden opportunity, a golden ticket. I have a golden ticket from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This opportunity is going to change your life. This is one of the moments, it's a pivotal moment in your life. This is the moment in your movie where you have your come up. This is the moment where you do the Princess in the Diaries big glow up thing. This is the moment in your life where everything changes, where you receive that home, where you receive that dream job, where you go where you need to be, where you're gonna have some more sun in your life, some more light, some more Leo energy. It's all starting to come towards you. I get one more card uh, when this Ace of Pentacles is going to come towards you, please, Spirit Guides. 
<laughs> 10. Okay, uh, just one more, please. I kind of want to know the time when they're going to receive this abundance because uh, your girl wants to know too. <laughs> okay. So we have nine, this could happen in nine hours, nine minutes, nine days, but I'm getting, it could be a little bit, we have 10 and nine. 10, nine, two. This is a wish fulfillment for you though, guys. You have the 10 of cups, so you're gonna have that happy family. You're gonna have that dream life. You're gonna have everything you desired is coming towards you. And this is the tipping point. These come together. But as far as time, I kind of think they wanna keep it a mystery, but it is going to happen after this tower moment, after something unexpected, after some pain, after feeling left out in the cold, after a dark night of the soul, when you're relying on your intuition and you are balancing out your masculine and feminine energy. So thank you so much, guys. Let me know when this hits. I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'm open for personal, tar personal tarot readings <laughs> as well as birth chart readings. Goodbye. Happy Lucky Wednesday.